The slump cone test or the concrete slump test is carried out to check the workability or consistency of concrete mix prepared at the lab or maybe at the construction site during the progress of the work. Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and in this video, we'll be learning about the concrete slump test. Concrete slump test is carried out from batch to batch to check the uniform quality of concrete during construction. The slump test is the most simple workability test for concrete because it's low cost and provides immediate results. Let's go ahead toward the procedure of how the slump test is carried out. Okay, so first select a place free from vibration or shock. Then clean the slump cone. Slump cone is just like a first dam of cone having height equals 30 cm, the bottom diameter equals 20 cm and then the top diameter equals 10 cm. Then place the cone on a smooth horizontal non-porous base plate. Fill the mold with the prepared concrete mix in three approximately equal layers. Make sure to temp each layer with 25 strokes at the round end of the temping rod in a uniform manner over the cross section of the mold. Once the cone is full, just remove the extra concrete and level the surface. Raise the mold from the concrete immediately and slowly in vertical direction. Measure the slump is the difference between the height of the mold and date of height point of the specimen being tested. Alright, so after raising the mold from the concrete, the result can be in four different shapes. Number one, that can be true slump, which is demonstrating that the max is cohesive and its workability is not that high. There can be zero slump. Zero slump is just the indication of very low water cement ratio, which results in dry mixes. These types of concretes are, you can say, generally used in road construction. There can also be a collapsed slump, which is just the indication that the water cement ratio is too high, which means the concrete mix is too wet or it is a high workability mix, for which a slump test is not appropriate. Then there can be a shear slump as well. The shear slump indicates that the result is incomplete and the concrete is to be retested. So this is all about the concrete slump test for workability. Thank you guys for watching.